Now you might say, well, wait a second. I don't want to turn on. I mean, I want to just make my bookkeeping as easy as possible and just wait till something clears the bank. How can I work my sales tax into a nice, easy system like that? Let's say you're just, you're just going to make sales. I'm not even going to track the customers or whatever. I'm just going to make the sales. And once they clear the bank, I'm just going to record it, you know, as revenue. Well, then what you might end up doing then is to open up a trusty uh, Excel worksheet and you can say, okay, well, that just means that when you make the sales, you're going to want to include the sales tax in the sales. So I'm just going to show you just a quick little worksheet on that and just to give you an idea of how you might do that. So let's just say, for example, that, that let's say you had sales just to get a, an idea of this of $500 and the sales tax rate, let's say is at 5%, 0.05%. Let's make this bold. And I'm gonna make that a percent number, percentifying it. So if I multiply this out, let's add decimals to this whole thing. Add in some decimals. All right, then I'm gonna percentify, underline, and this is gonna be this times this. And so that's going to be your sales tax, right? And then, so the total price is going to be this times this. Well, hold on a sec. That's not right. It's going to be this plus this. So if we sold something for $500, then the total price plus the sales tax is going to be the 525. We can get there quicker to the sales price by saying, okay, well, if the sales is going to be 500, then I'm going to say, so 100% plus, plus rate sales tax, right? Sales tax rate, 100% plus sales tax rate, which is going to be equal to one plus 0.05, one plus 0 0.05, 0 0.05, which is 1.05, or if I make it a percent, 105%. Underlining that, that will get us to our sales price, right? That's going to get us to our sales price. Now, the tricky thing is if you made a bunch of sales, uh, then then you would think that you could you could say, okay, if I made a bunch of sales, and all my, all my sales sales including tax were at this amount 525 and then you know the the thug comes into my place and says you need to pay me protection money you need to pay me protection money of five percent that's the government and we're like ah oh, god here we go again okay we'll pay you the five percent right if you're gonna protect us just like you did with that COVID. You shut us down. You shut me down. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to say 0.05. Let's make this a percent. And then you would think that you could just say 525 times the, the 5%, right? But that's not exactly right. You'd be overpaying the sales tax uh, if, you were to, if you were to do that. So you can't take your in sales and multiply it times the 5% because the sales that you made already, you know, include the sales tax. So if you're taking your end sales, like all your sales are at the 525, then how can you back into the sales tax? So if you make all your sales, you can make, you can imagine you make all of your sales and instead of, instead of recording this liability account here of the sales tax liability, as you make the sales, you're just going to record everything to revenue, which includes the sales tax portion of the sale, which means you're overstating the revenue account. But then you're going to make an adjustment at the end of the period for your sales tax, right? You're going to back out the sales tax. And then so when you back out the sales tax, you can't just take your sales times the 5%. It, it has to be something, you know, you got your equation. Your equation is, well, I know what, I know what my... I know what my, uh, let's just copy this equation over here. Like here's my sales, here's my that, and then here's my uh, total price. So it's the same thing, but I'm really kind of backing into this number, right? Because I know 
that this is the 1.05 or 105 percent i can percentify that and the sales and the total price i know is this 525 so i'm basically backing into the sales number so you can write out your algebraic equation which would be something like this would be x right so it's going to be x uh times 1.05 equals the 525 and you're backing into x so if you do that i'm going to say this is going to be equal to this divided by this and there's your 500 and you can double check it by multiplying it out this way and then you get the right amount otherwise and then you know so so if that's the so the actual tax you're paying is 25 not the 26 25. so what you'll end up doing is when you whenever you make the sales and you record the sales with the deposit like the, the accounts that will be affected as cash is going to be going up by the full amount the 525 that you're recording and you're in trying to include the sales tax in the sales price you're just going to say here's the price plus it includes the sales tax right and then you're just going to record the whole thing as sales because you're just going to record it as sales when it clears the bank then you're going to have your overstated statement of sales when you pay the sales tax then you're going to say okay then i'm just going to reduce sales which is unnatural that's you don't usually reduce sales but but we're going to do it here because we overstated the sales and we're trying to make a simple system. And then the other side is going to go to cash. So then sales will go back down to where it should be, which would be this minus the 25, the 500 instead of the 525. So you can, so if you're on a very simplified kind of system and you have to deal with sales tax, then the bottom line is you might just include the sales tax in the price of the stuff you're selling and then just make sure that when you're calculating the sales tax, you're not just calculating it based on the total sales when you're paying the mobster that comes in and says that you gotta pay them protection money. You're not just gonna take it on the total sales item here, that mobster being you know the government, right? You gotta instead uh, make sure that you're properly calculating the tax backing into the sales amount, otherwise you're gonna overpay the, the sales tax. And then you can, and then when you rec when you pay the tax, instead of paying down the liability, you're in essence reducing the sales back down to where it should be, if you're not including the tax. Because you can imagine a situation where you're going to say, well, that's sales, and maybe you think the other side should be sales, sales, tax, expense, right? That's what you might think it should go to. It would go there if you thought of the sales tax as an ordinary and necessary business expense and the sales revenue as revenue. So you could do that too, but but that's not something you wanna report on like your tax return or anything like sales tax expense, cause it looks like, cause it's not supposed to be an income statement item, right? The, the idea of the sales tax is, the, is it's not hitting the income statement. So that's why you'd reduce kind of revenue with it. Okay, that's the general idea with the sales tax.